Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor down here with the beautiful... Yeah, do you like that hair? Anyway, this is a 245 Duckworth Navigator Pacific. All white, beautiful boat, dual wipers, gold wing door up top, two pin uh, welded half window you can take off as well. That there's your window stop, your gas fill. They got to dig into that a little bit. Uh, it's not taking gas. I mean, very, very slow. It took me about an hour to put in 42 gallons. So it must be in the vent system. This has got the EV system on it. And this is his bow mount. All we did is install the mount and the bow mount and the ram. So he's got to hook it up to the battery and all those electronics. Uh, this is a reverse giant hole. It's a 65 gallon fuel tank. It's uh, 24, actually 26.9 if you ca count the offshore bracket. 84 inch beam, 0.125 on the sides, 102 beam. The bottom's 84, I'm sorry. Dry weight's 27.83. Uh, GVW is 3000. It's got heated seats. It's got cab lights. It's nine people, 14.85 pounds. Uh, max horsepower, I believe, on here is about like 400 horse. I could be wrong on that, but that's just a little guess. And you got a gateway trailer. That's all channel. Channel's good. Water don't sit in between the tubing. It starts corroding out. Even with galvanized, it'll start eating out through time. It's got uh, four uh, slick DMH guide welded on bunks for the trailer. Spare tire and carrier. Mag wheels. Black with the uh, galvanized or aluminum look outside ribs it's got st 22575 r15s six slugs uh probably 110 pound torque on that you got the swing tongue get a paddle log for that got your standard uh winch heavy duty i got the foot jack which i like on those uh they're a lot more sturdier and it's got electric brakes so on your vehicle if you got electric brakes those work they they hook right up uh it does need uh on that cable for your brakes it does need a clip I'm using one of my clips. You cross your uh, heavy duty safety chains. It's got the round seven on the trailer wires, uh, two and five sixteen inch ball, large port, shallow deck, which you want, sliding windows, net holders, rod holders. You got the eight foot load guides, uh, nitrous filled tires. That's what the green is. You can put regular air in it. The anything under hurt it. I want those load guides moved in finger length distance, not that far away. They got the room to move it. It's got welded on zinc. That's the best one because it makes complete contact. So it does its job on your load guides in the back You'll notice how they tilt down And I believe this is like a, Could be wrong, but it's an 18 by 29 degree hole variable hole with the heavy-duty reverse So it keeps it nice and solid uh, It's got torsion axles it's got the GT51 transducer, T99 high thrust, 11 by 7. It's got that nice cable steer. This is electric start power trim, remote up front. But you see that cable? That no more of those tie bars. If you look over here, it's connected right here. If you ever wanted it for some reason just to steer it, you can just take that cotter key out and you can steer it freely. And then you got this two, uh, 300 on here. Wow. Hoo, 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 hoo. Sucker's going to scoot. And I believe this is one of them Luxors. Yeah. Luxor uh, 15. And the Rubik's. So it looks like it's about a 15 pitch. That's a serial number. So I'm not quite sure on that pitch. I can't read it from right there. But I think I wrote it down in my notes. 15 by 15. I was right. Okay, uh, all five paint coat process on both motors, special primer, special clear uh, paint, and special clear coat. Uh, so it's, so they don't paint fade, blister on you and so on. Everything looks good there. Another zinc over here, ladder uh, with folding. You can put your pin right here. You really don't need it because it ain't gonna go and then you pull this and it extends out rear entry door. Uh, dual down riggers, two deck lights. He's got the Garmin, uh, uh, GPS sonar. I'll show you all that when I get set up. Uh, it's got places up on top. You can mount radar. You can put your GPS pucks, which just has a GPS puck. 
So now what I'm going to do is get this thing in the water and see how she does. 2020-24 Pacific Map, beautiful boat. One of my favorites. The 235 even is awesome. This 24 is probably the best you're going to get in the step deck.